Support for Just Seen It comes from Warner Archive Instant. Streaming hard to find movies and TV shows direct from the studio at WarnerArchiveInstant.com. Support for Just Seen It comes from Weaver's Coffee and Tea, makers of hand roasted artisan coffee and hand blended tea. Learn more at Weaver'sCoffee.com. J.D. Salinger was one of the most influential writers of the 20th century. But the reclusive author's life was shrouded in mystery. There was a lot of mystery about what he did in the Army. Very few people have seen as much death. Salinger suffered. With exclusive interviews, an unprecedented portrait of his life is revealed in Salinger. Hi, I'm Sean. I'm Liz. And I'm Leah. And today we're going to talk about the new documentary, Salinger. We've all just seen it. Sean, I'm dying to know what you thought about this movie. Really? Yes. So there were elements of the documentary that I did find very interesting. I found elements of his past, his World War II service especially, to be interesting. I just think it's a lot of talking heads talking about how much they think J.D. Salinger is God. And after a while, I didn't think it needed to be 129 minutes. You know what? I, I It's funny that you should say that because I had a similar reaction. I felt very much like this was a film that was really struggling with itself. It, this is where you have a case where the filmmakers really want to set themselves apart and say, look at us, we're filmmakers, and we're going to make our documentary more cinematic than everybody else's documentary. Their desire to be cinematic kept getting in the way of talking about their subject. It was almost like, we're going to make this experience easier for you. We're going to play the music very mm -hmm. loud when we want to tell you something very important. And mm -hmm. we're going to recreate events from Salinger's life with actors who kind of look like Salinger. And we're going to put um, a figure in a room typing on a typewriter with images from his life projecting onto a movie theater right. wall. It felt fabricated, it felt phony, and that's what was the most upsetting part of it. However, because Sandra is such an interesting figure, his story is great, so the experience of watching the movie isn't entirely painful. I really appreciated learning about his normal background, the fact that he didn't have some you yeah. know, mysterious origins, but he's actually this upper middle class kid that he had he was really was traumatized behind World War II, like so many other people, that he had certain predilections, you know, if you didn't know that about him, that he liked young girls. All of this is kind of new and interesting information that really grounds him in being a man, a regular mm. person who has obsessions. But this film is simultaneously grounding him and then trying to hold him up at the same time. Yeah. I mean, the, the documentary filmmakers seem to be privy to that information, right. sort of the more shadowy, shady information about Salinger's life, but then none of the people speaking to us really seem to know any of it. They're, right. just, they're just holding him up, and in a way, there's this sense of two forces. One is basically trying to say, we're trying to inform you about who Salinger is, but then I feel like, in conclusion, the film is almost trying to to put him even higher on a yeah. pedestal in this strange mysticism that makes him such a, a legendary figure, rather than really telling us, well, this is the man stripped down to his bare essence who wrote these novels. I think what what contributes to that lack of focus is the fact that the film jumps in chronology constantly. It goes from the 30s to the 80s to the 40s to the 70s and if we really just streamlined the edit for organization and for watchability then you'd be able to see the thread a lot easier and also those interviews that you're talking about it's like we're gonna interview everyone from the literary world and then we're gonna throw in these personal interviews we're just gonna pepper the film with personal interviews. In America American literature, like Salinger's, the greatest no ever. Jerry had scaled heights, big success. At the height of that success, he disappears. You could see there are moments among the friends where they could pinpoint the exact moment when they realized they were no longer going to be friends with J.D. Salinger. And for me, it was in those moments that the director did the best work as a director. He lingered at the right times, allowed us to feel uncomfortable in those moments with those friends, and then we moved on. Yeah, but there was definitely a degree of manipulation, and oh. this is, we're using a lot of archival footage from the 30s, 40s, 50s. That really bothered and me. And it's used irresponsibly because it's, it's not necessarily painting the picture of Salinger's life. It's right. just, this is the archival footage that we got, and we're trying to tell the story of where he came from, but this isn't Salinger's world. Right. When I got to the bottom of the letter, and by that time, you know, I was already completely connected to this person that I saw the signature J.D. Salinger. 
He knows exactly what he's doing. And he knows exactly how powerful the name J.D. Salinger is. It's a name that with the right girl creates a spell that they fall under. So the director, Shane Salerno, who, who really made his career as a screenwriter, he wrote Armageddon, he wrote Savages, which Oliver Stone directed last year. So it's interesting that he really doesn't have a lot of experience. He spent a lot of time with this documentary. I know he's been making this for over the course of several years. It seems to want to shape and manipulate a mainstream audience. I know that sounds horrible and it sounds a little ridiculous, but what I wanted to be is immersed into his life and what I was instead was I felt like I was being transparently entertained. Salinger can't uncover the truths it wants to in order to become the definitive study on one of the 20th century's most admired authors, so I say stream it. Salinger presents us with a very interesting and enigmatic character. Unfortunately, the filmmaker's style makes it very hard to see him. I say stream it. Fans of J.D. Salinger will flock to the movie and they'll get something out of it, but I do think they'll experience irritation as well. So I say stream it. Our votes add up to one and a half tickets, which is a stream it for Salinger. Cheers. 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 I'm to lock myself in a bunker and write after this. You kill me. <laughs> That's what they say in the book. They say you kill me a lot. Support for Just Seen It comes from Weaver's Coffee and Tea. Makers of hand-roasted artisan coffee and hand-blended tea. Learn more at weaverscoffee.com. Support for Just Seen It comes from Warner Archive Instant. Streaming hard-to-find movies and TV shows direct from the studio at warnerarchiveinstant.com.